so hello everyone welcome to the EDF part 3 and uh, previous video what we have done is basically we have successfully integrated the CRM data to SQL but we have found some issues in that the one of the issue is basically in account table we have the option set field uh, in the CRM it is option set field the field name is credit hold and in that credit hold we have two option as a yes or no but when we integrate the data of that field then in SQL we are getting as a 0 and 1 for example uh, if we see this is the account record in the account record we are trying to we are trying to get this credit hold field and the values are yes or no but in SQL what we are getting is we are getting 1 for yes and we are 0 for no if we check our table see 0 we are getting for no and 1 for yes so what but we want yes or no values right we don't want this code so we have created one extra field credit hold text and in that field what we are going to do is we are going to store the value okay so this is one problem we are going to solve and another problem is also the similar the it is related to contact so if you see the contact table in the contact table also we are getting the account IDs only not the account name for example this is the contact record in the contact record account contact record is linked to this account basically we are getting through our integration we are getting the GUID of this record but we want name as well so what we have done is we have created one additional field account name here okay and here we, we are also getting the account name we are basically joining the, uh, we are going to join this contact table with account and with the help of inner join we are going to add, get this account name so both the problem we can solve with the help of uh, two methods the one method is a uh, data flow and another method is a uh, stored procedure for in this video we are going to see a stored procedure approach which required SQL knowledge but uh, in the data flow you don't require any scripting knowledge so let's start with the first problem related to the account entity so since we are not getting the text value then what th what is the approach basically what we are going to do is we are going to create a option set metadata table in SQL and we are going to store this value value text and value of this field inside that table for example we will create the option set field uh, for example option set metadata we will have the table in that table we will create option set uh, field uh, as a column and in that we will have the credit hold and for yes we will store the value as 1 and for no we will store the value as a 0 so for better understanding I have, I have already created the option set metadata so if I run this query you will be able to understand easily so ignore this first column ID is basically a unique ID for this record so we are not going to use this entity name is important why entity name I have created because our uh, credit hold is the field which is our two option and that field is present in account entity so we might get a requ uh, requirement like in other entity we also have some other option set okay so for other entity we will give that entity name for now our credit hold field is there and that credit hold field is present in account entity that is nothing but table so that's why we are storing the uh, creating the account name co column and we are storing the data as account option set field name is basically our credit hold so credit hold is the option set field an option set text is basically we are going to store the text yes or no and then value is 1 and 0 so for yes it is a 1 and for no it is a 0 so we have created this table and added the data inside this table if you want uh, this is the query to create the table actually I will also add this query uh, in my blog and I will give the link in the description so that if you want to use this table this query then you can copy the link uh, this query from there okay so once we create this table then what we have to do it's a simple then right from the account we have to inner join with the option set metadata so uh, you should have knowledge about the inner join uh, SQL joins so if you don't have knowledge then you can visit the W3 school website and learn the little bit uh, joining knowledge and then come here so what we have going to do is simple I have written this focus on this part of the query so what we are going to do here we are going to update uh, we are going to update this account and then we are going we are setting this account credit hold text with the option set metadata option set text okay so it's a pretty much simple 
option set text we are we are setting credit hold text with this one that means we are setting yes or no value right and we are inner joining this with the option set metadata and the condition is basically credit hold that means uh, in the account entity we have zero one value right so if account have zero value then it will check what is the zero value present inside this table and th if this is the zero value then it will take the no and it will update the credit hold text okay so you will get under you will understand this once you are aware about the inner join that's why first go through the w3 school and uh, understand what is the inner join then you will easily understand this uh, so this is the query why what we have to do is we don't want to manually run this query after integrating the data right so we have to uh, we want this data should get automatically populate for account we want this data should get automatically populate once we integrate the data right so to solve this problem we have what we have done we have added this query we have created the store procedures to store procedure nothing but it runs the set of the query so if since we have added the this query here so store procedure will run this query okay so create the procedure store procedure this is the syntax create procedure procedure name and then we will begin the procedure here we will add whatever the query we have if we have multiple queries then you can add the multiple queries as well it will run in sequence here so we have added this query here and we have entered this so create this execute this and create also again i will add this store procedure as well in my block and once you create the store procedure you will able to find that store procedure here okay and now it's pretty much simple now what we have to do we have to call this store procedure so here uh, go to your ADF uh, ADF you can navigate from all service from all service go to the analytics then data factories and open your data factory okay in previous video we have created and we have done that okay so in the previous video we have created two pipeline t dash import account and t dash import contact so those who are new please follow the uh, follow this uh, previous video as well so that you will be able to aware about this so in so we are working on this account right so this is our pipeline so what this pipeline is going to do we are getting the perfect value no issues but we are not getting this text value we are not getting this text value so we have written the logic in this store procedure for that so what we will do we will call this store procedure just after this so in general you can see that store procedure in general store procedure is there just add this store procedure here connect this connect okay why it's not okay now it's happening connect this and here give the name okay then this is keep ad as it is in the settings you have to select your link service for uh, sql tb after selecting the link service then it will automatically load the store procedure present inside your system so we have already created this store procedure option set metadata so for easy understanding it's a zoom out i guess that's why see update option set metadata this is our store procedure update option set metadata so select this one nothing everything is done now you just have to publish it so it will take some time uh, you will get uh, the status here whether it got published or not see publishing completed so what you have to do now you have to run this okay so we will run in debug mode So first it will run copy data first it will copy the data present inside uh, the CRM to SQL and after that it will update our uh, account table so that we will see the text as well for option set so first it is running the copy data see copy data is running it will take some time to copy the data 
see copy data succeeded so now we have uh, here what what happened from crm we got the data into the sql now we have to update that credit hold text field we want right so store procedure will run see it got succeeded in 5 seconds only so to get the data we uh, it took 40 seconds and to up to run the store procedure it took 5 seconds okay so let's see whether we have so initially we got we got null right now it should contain for zero it should be no and for one it should be yes so let's execute and check see we got the data here so this is the uh, this is the one approach to solve this problem there is another approach again using the data flow which does not require any uh, scripting knowledge we will discuss that in uh, another uh, video in the next video uh, first now we will focus on our second problem this is also similar to this problem so it's pretty much easy now so in the contact entity i have already explained you we are getting the account id but not the account name so if you see we are getting the account id this id of the record but we are not getting this name so even if you check through the qu uh, query it is null so again what we have to do we have to join this contact table with account why because we have the account id here right and in the account also we have we have account id and based on the id comparison we can find the account name simple inner join is there nothing else so i have created this store procedure create procedure procedure name we will begin the procedure and in that procedure i have written the logic it's a simple one we are updating the contact table we are setting the contact account name to account account name okay and inner joining this contact table with account based on this query if account id of the both is same then we are getting the name and updating it's pretty much simple so once we get this uh, if you are aware about the inner join then you will understand uh, again if you don't have, if you are not aware then go through w3 school and learn about the inner join and then come to this video okay so create this store procedure and after creating it will appear here in your database it will appear so this is ADF to RDB, so it will appear here. And then what you have to do is, yeah, we have to go to our links. So this is related to contact. So we already created the pipeline, right? T import contact. So go here in this pipeline, add store procedure. Give the name if you want. and then yes select your link service select the procedure name update contact lookup field publish it again it will take some time and published completed right so after this what you have to do you have to debug uh, either you can trigger the uh, trigger the pipeline from here or you can run the pipeline from debug mode anything is fine so again first what is happening okay we have done in wrong way here we haven't attached this actually we haven't uh, attached this output to this uh, store procedure so this will not work properly We will not face issue because we are uh, already the records are there. That's the reason. Wait. So actually, see our store procedure got run first. Okay, so that's the issue. What we want is first we want to get this data and then after getting the data we want to run this store procedure. Otherwise, whatever the new record we are getting in the copy data that will not get updated, right? That is one of the issue. Let it run first. We will fix it. Okay, succeeded. So what we will do first, we will clear the data to understand it. Okay. It would have executed properly, but we will clear, clear the data again. Okay. Okay, so what we have to do exactly? We have to connect this so wh what will happen basically why we need to connect this 
so first it will take all the data present inside the CRM and it will import into the our SQL table and after importing only we have to update the data right we don't want this store procedure to run first otherwise it will not update the values uh, for new records that's the reason we have to connect it and again if we run properly then we will uh, be able to okay again we have faced one issue we haven't published this so let me cancel this okay first we will publish first check whether we are what is the data see we are getting null only no issues we will run this again in debug mode see it is running so first so first you are able to see only this okay uh, only after this is uh, of when this gets successful only after that you will be able to see see it it run I it run wait since I have clicked on this then we are not able to see the details so only we can identify from here it didn't get completed yet so the thing is we cannot find this from monitor stage because we haven't triggered the job we have run it in the debug mode that's the reason if we try to find here see we are it is not showing anything for last 24 because we have run this pipeline from the trigger mode see now you can see see it is a it is still running okay one minute 19 second it took to copy the data and then for store procedure it took only three seconds so now if we check see for this ID we are it is showing this one for this this so it is we are getting the data so in this way we can get the data see for null we are getting null no issue for that but if it is data present then we should get the account name so in this way we have solved this issue with the help of stored procedure and we can also solve this issue with the help of Databricks that we are going to see, see in our next video and it doesn't require any uh, scripting knowledge we will discuss uh, in details in the next video and please check out uh, the below uh, in the description please check out the link is present from that link uh, uh, you can get my blog and you can get all this script present uh, all this code store procedure script all these uh, table creation script you can get it from there and you will also get more details about uh, there are more information also provided in the blog so please check out that blog as well so that's it for today